Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this card video for you. It's video number two out of three in the Cactus Cutie stamp -a stack series. Tomorrow I'll be back with the last video, which is this one. And if you missed it yesterday, this was video number one in the series. It's stamp -a stack series, so video number one is really important. In video number one, we cut our designer series paper in Wonder Recipe number 15, kind of slightly modified Wonder Recipe number 15. This is the Flowering Cactus Designer Series paper and you get a quarter of a package if you get your Cactus Cutie stamp -a stack packet. It's optional, it's available at kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. Once you're in the store, use the right hand menu and filter for class packets and you'll see what class packets are available there. We do the die cutting and um, give you your envelopes, we score your card bases, give you everything all ready to go plus some extra to play with and you can find those class packets while they're available in the store. So for this design we're going to use these three pieces that are two by four from our Wonder Recipe 15. The Wonder Recipe printable diagram is on the blog. Just follow the link below the video. If you're on YouTube, you'll go to the blog and then the link to print the Wonder Recipe diagram is underneath the embedded video. We cut our paper in the last video for all the cards at one time. Then we also talked about the backgrounds of your cards. On this one, we've got this awesome brick and mortar. And on our first video, we had the painted texture embossing folder. And then on the video tomorrow, we're gonna use the Stitch with Whimsy dies to add a little border. So the idea is that um, anything that you have will work. Lots of things look really great, but do something in the background and take the opportunity to be creative. Now, if it's something that you love, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and click shop and you can get these products while Stampin' Up! still has them. All right, let's get our uh, cards from our kit and get these embossed. In your kit, you'll find your cards in the envelopes and all the other little pieces that you need, so be careful. We're going to emboss these with the brick and mortar. But if you're doing this true stamp -a stack style, you wanna do all your embossing or background stamping or whatever treatment you're gonna use on the background, you wanna do that all at the same time. You wanna do all nine cards. The stamp -a stack makes nine cards and you wanna do all that at one time just like we cut all the designer series paper at one time for all nine cards. That's the beauty of the stamp -a stack You're gonna have some really great cards and you're gonna get them fast. So we're putting our brick and mortar, the card front in. Now this is a six by six folder. We're gonna put the card through the machine and then we're gonna snug up the folder so that it's exactly on the platform. We don't want to hang it over either side. We do not want it to brush against the inside of the machine. It's a little bit of a tricky technique, but it really makes a great edge to edge impression. If you don't like to do this where you emboss the entire card, I understand. If it's done with care, you can do it. But if you don't like to do that, you can cut a small piece of mossy meadow, maybe for by five and a quarter, emboss that and lay it over. You can stamp your backgrounds with any sort of stamps. You can use the stitched with whimsy dies. Just choose your own background treatment and it'll really add something nice to the cards. So there's our gorgeous background. Let's get our three cards done and then we'll adhere the designer series paper. I've got my three card bases all embossed. We'll work that score line gently with the bone folder. Don't press out that beautiful impression you just made. Okay, our card bases are all folded. Now we can add our designer series paper with some liquid glue. Look at that beautiful Highland Heather floral. It's really a cool designer series paper pack. All right, there's our embossed backgrounds, our gorgeous designer series paper. Now let's bring the sample back here and I wanna show you 
we've got a stitched rectangle. We cut that using the stitched rectangle dies for you. And we're going to add a little bit of dry brush stamping in the background. You can do all three of these at one time if you don't mind the direction of the dry brush going in two different directions. If you want it directional, then you have to do two and then one. But we're gonna take our dry brush background. I love this Stampin' Up background. It's a background stamp that just adds a little bit of um, interest. Like you had taken a dry brush and acrylic paint and swiped across the paper. So it gives you a real interesting visual texture and it's a simple, easy uh, technique to just give it a second generation stamp so it's very subtle. We're gonna ink up with Sahara Sand. Then we'll stamp off on the grid paper and that'll remove some of the ink. You don't have to press hard here, don't let it sit too long. Just take off some of the ink then you can lay your rectangles. Now you could lay them two this way, one this way, and stamp them all at one time. Or you can stamp two in one direction and then stamp again for the second one if you want them all to go horizontal. And there's our gorgeous dry brushed Sahara Sand and Sahara Sand rectangle. Let's go ahead and adhere those to our cards get the sample back in for a second. Let's do one more bit of stamping. We're gonna stamp this little hello tag before we adhere the dry brush bit so that we can tuck it underneath and our twine too. I love this beautiful twine detail. All right, we've got our Stampin' Pierce mat because Cactus Cuties is a photopolymer set. And we've got this adorable little ticket. Isn't that just the cutest thing? That die was cut ahead from basic white cardstock using the sports fan die set. The sports fan die set, or sports event die set, has some awesome tickets. The one that we're using, the one that we used in video number one, this kind of large ticket, and the strip of tickets, all great for any occasion. It doesn't have to be sports related. It really does look cute as a little greeting accent somewhere, or a frame for your pictures, a little accent. It's also got pennants and a couple of cool pattern dies. These will cut uh, negative stars out of your project and add a little chevron detail, almost like our Stitch with Whimsy dies in video number three will do. All right, let's go ahead and ink up Hello Greeting. The Hello Greeting is from Cactus Cuties, our feature stamp set here. I'll show you that one in a minute when we do our cactuses. But we're going to stamp with Mossy Meadow all the way along the stitches right across the top of our ticket and i left this ticket in your kit wide just in case because this is now quite a few times that i've done this little hello on this tag and i'm well practiced at it but if you don't get it perfect if it's not close enough to the stitches or it's too far away i left a whole tag or a whole ticket for you so you could flip and do the other side so if you're if you're loving it and you don't have this ticket yet, you can, before you adhere it to the back of your stitched rectangle, go ahead and cut them in half. Save this one for the next card. You have another little half a tag where you can tuck in somewhere and put a little greeting. And um, if you don't get it perfect the first time, then you get a second chance at it too. So just little method behind the madness kind of stuff. All right, now let's go ahead and get our rectangles adhered to our card fronts. I've got 14 inches of this linen thread. It's Calypso Coral linen thread for each card. You get two and a half yards of each of the colors in the kit along with the butterflies, the felts, designer series paper, and your card kits and white card stock. What we want to do is loop this up and it's come off the card so it's got some hard edges. We're going to run the bone fold. The bone folder over it just gently between your thumb and the bone folder. And that'll kind of softly curl it up just a little bit. It kind of works those folds out and gets it ready to loop instead of fold. So just take a moment and do this step and you won't be sorry. You'll get 
more um, round, pretty loops. If you do it too tight, you'll get real curls. So don't hold it too tight. This is really gentle. All right, now that we've worked the folds out, we've stamped our backgrounds. Let's get assembling. I like to take a dry adhesive. You could use tear and tape here, or you can use your um, stamp and seal. If you're still using the snail or fast fuse, you can use those. I like this one because it'll hold tight on this 3D embossing texture. It also lets me show you where I'm putting the adhesive. So I've got my adhesive along both sides. One side is going to get a little extra attention before we adhere. I'm going to take our little hello tag and pop that on the back of the rectangle. Make sure everything's nice and straight, about a quarter of an inch from the top. Then we're going to take our twine and we're going to wrap it around three fingers three times, a little bit tighter than three fingers. We want the ends to meet. This is 14 inches and the seam to go along on the tear and tape here. So now we've got these great loops. We can move them around a little bit if we like, separate them, give them a little finesse before we stick them in the adhesive. You can even bring it up so it goes underneath the tag a little bit. And when you've got them the way that you like them, then we can go ahead and peel the other side and adhere to the card. All right, I'm all set up here and we've got our Stampin' Pierce mat, Mossy Meadow, Mint Macron, Pear Pizzazz, Cinnamon Cider, and our Cactus Cuties stamp set with the Cactus Builder Punch. I love this bundle. You can get this at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Just click shop. Links under the video if you're watching on YouTube. And we're going to make all of the parts that we need for all three copies of the card. You can even make all of the parts that you need for all nine cards at the same time. Just like you cut all the designer series paper at one time and you can emboss or stamp your backgrounds all at one time. You can also stamp all of your cactus needs at one time and then cut them all. That's how you're gonna be most productive with this. We're gonna start with this little mint macaron pot. We're going to ink that up on the strip. There's half sheets of basic white cardstock in the back of your class packet that's for stamping and for lining the inside of your cards. So you can do whatever you want on the inside also. I cut some white liners and did a little bit of stamping so you can do that now. I got I'm thinking of you for my inside. I love the art gallery stamp set. It's got a great mix and match greetings that look really good with the font in Cactus Cuties, especially this Hope Your Day that I'm thinking of you is about the same font. So Hope Your Day is on point. I'm thinking of you. And you'll see that I've used a couple of those greetings as like mix and match. So it's a great set. All right. So we're going to do three pots because we have three copies of this card. And by the magic of television, I did those. And then we're also going to do three of the terracotta like pots and we're going to do that with cinnamon cider ink so let's stamp one of those and we've got this little plant i think kind of looks like aloe it's a little spiny plant we're gonna cut one of those uh oh not enough pressure. I've been pushing hard on it and <laughs> making the leaves kind of lose their detail. So I got to find a middle ground. I have a very heavy hand. Ah, perfect. Letting the ink sit for a second before to transfer also helps for me. 
I tend to push really hard and then to make it better I overcompensate and then don't push hard enough <laughs> all right and then we need three of this large cactus and we're gonna cut out these bits we're gonna use our scissors and fussy cut them we're gonna give them a little white edge all the way around when we fussy cut them and what that'll do is it gives a definite clean edge to each of our little items but our little pot we can give that one a punch using the cactus builder and so there's this guy let me just give these guys a quick cut and then we will finish assembling our cards all of our bits are cut and I showed you the inside of my card here. I've got plenty of white cardstock in the kit and you can cut down uh, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then I ran the stitching around the edge of this one. Stamped I'm thinking of you in Parrot Pizzazz, a little cactus in uh, Mossy Meadow. You'll notice that in your kit, you also have a couple of little strips here. This is Calypso Coral, and this is Purple Posy. I love the Purple Posy with this designer series paper, so I included some in your kit so that you can use your little cactus builder punch and make a flower for the inside of your card that'll be nice and flat and coordinate with the felt flowers on the outside of your card, whether you did them with the purple or the Calypso Coral, that's up to you. There's plenty of this little strip to go around for these cards. Let's get these cactuses on this card. We've got our big guy and our terracotta pot that's gonna go flat and a little bit um, in the background, kind of behind our aloe pot. We'll add that guy with some liquid glue. Now my little aloe plant and my punched pot, they have some dimensionals on them. Go ahead and remove the liner and put that guy kind of at a cute little angle. Got some time to slide to kind of get that perspective of one's in front of the other. And then we can slide our plant right into the pot. So cute. And then, of course, our little flowers for the inside. Now let's embellish all these gorgeous felt flowers. Now it's your choice what you do. You can mix and match. I've got the coral twine, so I did coral flowers on all of mine. I'm going to take a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller of this kind of daisy looking shape for each one of my cards and I'm kind of mixing and matching. There's one with a kind of a snowflake look and then in stitches and then a little dot in the center and then let's see here. Here's a large one with a dot in the center and then one with a little one that has kind of a snowflake pattern. So I just like to mix them all up a little bit. We're gonna add them to the card with some mini glue dots. makes our triangle of Calypso Coral. It's very visually pleasing. Let's catch these guys up and then we'll get our brush brass butterflies. The package of these brushed brass butterflies, if you got the kit, we're gonna add three of these little butterflies flying up and away. What I'm doing is two of the large or two of the small and one of the large and it gives just a little bit of shine but not too blingy it really works with our southwest feel all right so here is our original three and the three we just stamped a stack and here's 
video number one. Go check that out. The link's below. And I'll see you tomorrow in video number three, where we'll make hope your day is on point. If you've got questions about the Stampa Stack, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to see if there's supplies of our awesome Cactus Cuties Stampa Stack class packet. Buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com slash shop filter for class packets. See if there's any still available. They'll be there while supplies last. And if you shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Click shop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in video number three.